welcome back to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet then make sure that you click the subscribe button below and join the revolution Yo, can we talk about a glow can we talk about it oh my goodness you cannot buy this eh? have you seen it do you see it i hope this lasts <laughs> Anyway, I am on my way to South Carolina. I'm literally going there today. Today's Friday. And I'm coming back tomorrow on Saturday. And I'm literally going so I can have the wild safari experience thing. You know, like the tiger place and Tiger King. So I'm going to Doc Antle's one. And I'm kind of nervous because after watching Tiger King, I mean, they kind of freak me out, you know, but I really want to go play with the animals. So because I'm going for a short time, I don't have actual luggage. I'm just going to take a carry on. And in my carry on, I've packed my clothing. So right now it is like 10 something. My flight is at 1146, but I want to get to the airport at half past 10 just so I can be there early. I know it's not even an international flight, but whenever I fly, I'm always extra cautious. I don't want to miss my flight. Right now, I'm about to request my Uber. I also just finished praying. Every time I go on a trip, small, big, whatever, I always pray. Like, we need to really clock how much of a blessing it is to leave your home and come back at the end of the day. So I've just finished praying for my trip, praying, praying for my flights. I've anointed myself and everything. I've also been really feeling kind of sad lately, really under the weather. Um, and not in terms of sickness. I don't think that's a good expression then if I'm not talking about sickness. Well, I've been feeling kind of sad. So I'm really hoping this trip is going to add some color into my life and some excitement. So let's go. So this is my airport trip. You always have to be comfortable when traveling. I don't know how those girls do it where they actually wear heels when they travel. And then this is my backpack. This is literally my clothes. But I'm here early. I've got an hour until my flight boards. So extra. I got the gloves and everything and you, I can actually use my phone while I have these gloves on and that is the biggest plus I've ever had in my whole entire life. Can I tell you guys something? I actually don't remember how to use the airport. I kid you not. I was so con- when the Uber driver was dropping me off, he was like, it's here, right? I was like, I think it's upstairs, man. And then he was like, no, I'm pretty sure it's here. And then I got off where he dropped me off and I went in. And that's where the security was so he's right but the thing is i remember there being another place upstairs so you can check in or whatever you want to do hey guys so i've just landed in charlotte and this is in north carolina so when i was on the plane to get here my seat was at the very back of the plane and as I was walking, I said hi to the flight attendant and then she was like, uh, where are you seated? And I was like, I'm all the way at the back. And she was like, you know what, just hold on. I think I got a little something for you. And I was like, okay. So I went all the way to the back and I was seated and stuff. No one was sitting next to me. And then when everyone was seated, she was like, all right, get up and come with me. So I'm a little bit nervous. I'm like, get up and come with me. Anyway, so I got up anyway and I followed her and she gave me a, another seat at the front of the plane and it had so much leg space i'm gonna insert the leg space to show you guys it had so much leg space it was so amazing so your girl basically got a seat update for free you know what i'm saying blessings they just follow me you know i don't look for them they look for me so right now i'm waiting to board my next flight which is gonna take me to my final destination i have not eaten today and when I got here, I was like, maybe I should consider buying something. But I don't think I'm going to do that because I'd rather eat when I get there. So I just bought myself some water. And I'm not even feeling thirsty. But then I figured just because you're not feeling thirsty doesn't mean your body isn't thirsty or like, you know, dehydrated or whatever. So I just got some water to drink. Guys, look at my room. It's so big. It's the bathroom. I don't like the bathroom. Not gonna lie. And another bed. Fam, this is like a mini apartment up in here. I don't like this. Fridge is empty. 
a little closet space. Guys, so I'm at the beach eating can wait. I have literally I got him, I checked in, I changed and I came right out here. It's just so beautiful guys. I'm not even hungry right now. I just want to be here in this moment. I wish I could swim but A I don't have a swimming costume and B it's cold so whoa I can literally feel the water like drawing me in. It's so weird. So I'm back from the beach and literally so much has happened since then But I'm going to explain after I get some food. I still haven't eaten a, like not even a snack Haven't eaten anything today um, It's 8 p.m. right now and I'm gonna go and get some food. They close at 9 Let me tell you guys what happened while I'm waiting outside. I'm by myself. So what happened is <laughs> I went to the beach as you guys know and I took my pictures I went on IG live had a good time did a great thing then my phone died and I decided to go back to my room but before I went back to my room I went for a walk on the beach it was really nice it was just you know me and myself and just looking around again thanking God that I'm here and thanking God for this beautiful earth that he's made and everything so yeah I took a very 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 long walk guys a very 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 long walk and when i took a very 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 long walk on the beach my feet started to hurt because obviously there's shells and stuff on the beach so my feet started to hurt and i decided to walk back to my hotel room but i got back to my hotel room and my feet you know like when you're on the treadmill and your feet start to get itchy in your thighs that's how my feet were feeling so i literally could not put my my shoes on nothing i had to walk barefoot back to my hotel room when i got back in i washed my feet and my feet were literally like pulsating like this and they were swollen so i sat down on the bed i literally could no longer stand i sat down on the bed and my feet were pulsating and I started scratching because they were itchy and I know you shouldn't do that especially when you're having those kinds of itches but I couldn't help it I didn't know what to do it was so painful so I started scratching and then I put some lotion on it which kind of helped and then my feet guys literally my feet were swollen as in they looked like little you know pigs in a blanket mini vianas that's what my feet looked like they were literally swollen I'm looking out for my uber because I requested an uber but my feet were literally swollen and i couldn't get up so i sat on the bed and i was like okay fine let me try and charge my phone because my phone was off then i remembered that i forgot my freaking charger in the plane and i had taken my charger out because i wanted to charge on the plane so i could have enough battery when i arrived i forgot my charger and the plane didn't even have a charging port so because they didn't have a charging port i put it in the mini pocket thing and i forgot my charger there so now i'm in my room my feet are swollen i can't move they're pulsating they're itchy and my phone's off i don't have a charger i haven't eaten today <sighs> great just great you know every 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 you know there's always a little bit of drama that happens you know so i guess this was my bit of drama i'm not accepting any more drama for the rest of this trip anyway so i went down to the reception of my hotel and the guy lent me a charger so i'm on like 30 percent now and um i was gonna go buy a charger first but i'm hungry and so i'm gonna go eat where's my uber guys i'm gonna go eat and then when i'm done eating i'm gonna go into a a store near me and buy a charger then i'm gonna come back and call it a night because i've got an early morning tomorrow hi guys so i'm back in my room and i'm about to call it a night honestly I had a good day my feet are now getting back to normal but still kind of swollen but anyway despite having swollen feet having to spend money for no reason to buy a charger and whatever like i had a good day that time at the beach was so good i came just in time for the sunset and i got my pictures and my videos but i also got to just take a walk 
which led to my swollen feet. And I also got to just sit there and stare at the ocean and just be present. And that's something that I've learned from vlogging and traveling is you can't spend the whole time staring at the screen. And even though you see things through your screen, your eyes have not sensed it, have not registered it if you're not looking at it directly. So I took time to just be present and in the moment i've got an early morning tomorrow i'm going to the lion and safari park at 9 a.m which is the whole reason why i came to myrtle beach in the first place um and my appointment is at 9 a.m and i need to be there 15 minutes before then so i need to get enough sleep two hours later The next day morning guys so right now it's about to be 8 20 in the morning this is going to be the shortest intro ever but basically i'm on my way to myrtle beach safari my appointment is at 9 a.m and i need to be there 15 minutes before so i'm going to get going around about now because as you guys know i prefer to be early than to be on time or late because I paid a lot of money and I don't want to be excluded for any reason. So I'm going to go check out. I had the steak that I had last night for breakfast this morning. Crazy steak for breakfast, right? But I didn't want to waste my money. And um, I spoke to someone who's been there before and she said, you definitely want to eat before you go there. And of course, as you can see, I don't have time to grab anything else. So I had steak and I had water with it. I'm about to go check out and head out. So I'm at the airport right now. I think it's about to be 2 p.m. or it is 2 p.m. I went straight from the safari to the airport. I got myself some Chick-fil-A. It's just a chicken sandwich. If you haven't seen my Popeyes versus Chick-fil-A video, go check it out. And an Oreo milkshake, which is like my favorite. And I have some water with me. Guys, can I please tell you, I had the best day of my life, like today today what is the day? the 28th of november 2020 was the best day of my life for now because i know better even better days are coming the safari was so much fun they don't let you take your phone with you so i couldn't record anything but it was so amazing like not having your phone allows you and forces you to be in the moment you're not thinking about taking a picture or going on instagram or what like you're completely just in the moment oh my gosh when when we were taking a picture with the elephant Doc Antle was like, when I count to three, say Carol killed her husband. And I, oh. And so, yo, guys, I met a real life elephant. I've always wanted to meet an elephant, and it's gigantic. Whoa. It is huge. And the trunk, like, when you see the inside of the trunk, it's split like this, like a nose, like this. So, it has a little you know a divider thing that we have here and it's literally like a hand well, guys when you see it it's amazing it can pick up the tiniest thing and i saw it drink juice and whoa it was so nice and i was playing with baby tigers and i took pictures with monkeys i looked like a proud monkey mom the way i was holding them and i fed a tiger i fed an elephant it was so nice it's so funny because anyone who knows me knows that i'm not one for the animals okay I'm very scared of animals but i don't know i get so different when it's an animal encounter i just like all my fear just goes away and i'm like in complete just adventure mode so when i first got there i was really anxious because i was going by myself and we've seen the documentary tiger king and they make them all seem like weirdos so i was like yo god don't let me go in here and not come back out again but it was no weird vibes it was totally cool 
it was a very beautiful place very big you can see it cost lots of money the two things that i mainly didn't like number one they had that weird humor you know that weird people humor where they're like really annoying but they think it's funny they had weird people humor but they were funny sometimes and another thing is they were like buddha statues everywhere buddha and hindu god statues so like i was praying a lot in in my head because like you know things have a purpose there's a reason why they put certain things in certain places so i was praying a lot i was also praying that dear god please don't let me get eaten today please don't let me die so i actually so they make you sign a waiver where they're like i and they make you write it out to say i understand that i could get serious injury the waiver literally says you could like literally die but there's no legal action that will be taken against the safari and signing a waiver like that is so nerve-wracking one of my friends said that benita's favorite pastime is signing waivers that say that i may die doing this and i was just thinking like so many times i've done these crazy things skydiving bungee jumping i had the animal encounter before with the cheetah and this this i literally when i signed that waiver also i was like damn sis how many of these i may die waivers are have you signed and do you plan to sign in your life they give you food in between they give you pizza they give you soda they give you snacks so you do get food in between and i also got a free t-shirt and um i've got digital photos and then i've got an actual so this is the t-shirt then i've got a digital not a digital i've got an actual photo let me show you I look like a proud parent like <laughs> it's like me and my three kids ah look so i look like a proud parent <laughs> look at this one the most dramatic one. <laughs> oh my gosh i had a really amazing time hello good people so i'm back in my room yo i have no energy i'm tired i am literally so tired but i just wanted to close off this video I'm about to literally eat watch a movie and knock out i think it's like 10 p.m or something along those lines and i just finished taking a shower hence i'm in my little onesie not so <laughs> Anyway, so I just wanted to give a few highlights. So one thing I was worried about is South Carolina is sort of like in the South. Well, not sort of, it's considered to be a part of the South, as in the racist South. So I was really worried about um, having like racist encounters and stuff. And honestly, I can say that I never had anything happen. The only thing is when I was at the restaurant and people were like staring at me, I was the only black person there and they were staring at me really funny. And then they had these Blue Lives Matter type t-shirt. That was the only time I felt really, really uncomfortable. But apart from that, I honestly never experienced anything. I asked the locals about the racism, both white and black people when I met them. And they both said the same thing where they were like, it's sort of like low key racism. It's not like in some areas and by some areas they, they say, Alabama it's not like some areas where they're blatantly racist when I was going right on Friday when I was going people were looking at me in the airport and I was like guys why are you looking at me as if I stole something and then I realized that I just forgot that I have blue hair and of course when you have blue hair people are going to stay so I had two conversations where they asked me where I'm from and I said South Africa and the one was my uber driver the one was my flight attendant so my uber driver when I told him where I'm from, he was like, white South Africans are the most racist type of white people that you can find and they're the most entitled. And he was like, whenever he has had an encounter with white South Africans, it's always been really just bad. And he was like, he doesn't like white South Africans. Those are his words, not mine. That's what he said. And that was really interesting. And then my flight attendant, when I was coming back here, she had an accent. So I was like, where are you from? And she was like, I'm from Ukraine. She was like, where are you from? I was like, I'm from South Africa. And her mind was blown. She was so excited, bro. She was like, her favorite holiday destination, the best place she's been to is SA. The people are so kind. They're so giving. They're so friendly. Like she was so hype, guys. She was so excited that she even came up to me and she was like by the way do you want me to give you a seat like further in the front i was all the way at the back because my flights were cheap she was like do you want me to give you a seat like by the front that's where you have more leg room it was a it was a an exit seat which means you had all that leg room and she moved me there for free remember i told you guys it happened to me the first time it happened to me again i got moved again to a better seat for free again this time it's because i was south african 
and the whole time she was like thank you so much it's so good to meet you thank you for sharing i asked her a bit about her life like you know you know just a few questions nothing too personal she was like thank you for asking about me you know thank you for showing interest and you know it, it was my honor to serve you and you know i hope i can make it to south africa again like this sis guys she was i felt like royalty man i was like jeez am i cyril's daughter or something you know what i'm saying like she was so happy that i was in her flight and before she moved me she was like is there anything you need is there anything i can get for you i was like no nah, i'm good then she came back moments later she's like i got a seat for you poo i said shoo okay let's go i wanted to go on this trip for the longest time i had friends who were supposed to go with me it all fell through and i was like i have the time i have the money i have the opportunity i'm gonna go for it by myself and i have no regrets i would 100 percent recommend doing things by yourself if you don't have anyone to do it with and even if it's not about not having someone to do it with learn to enjoy your own company but of course you have to be safe throughout my traveling i was always i was constantly praying i was praying for the flights i was praying for the flight attendants and the pilots like i was just always praying for everything and saying god I'm, no freak accident is my portion i'm not going to die in the air um, I was also praying that like God whoever like when people see me they must favor me and you know there are some people who do witchcraft where they're like when you step into a room or when people see you they must just not like you or be turned off by you so I make the opposite prayer I'm like God when people see me they must just like me they must just favor me and that's definitely something that I experienced on these two flights with getting my seats bumped up for free my other uber driver as well he was like by the way do you need to make any stops and I was like oh I didn't pay for it he's like no no you're good let me know I met an uber driver who damn near prayed for me so yeah like i just always stay in constant prayer because i never travel by myself i always travel with the holy spirit like, oh let me show you my t-shirt this is a t-shirt that i got for free and the chimps this is their actual feet that are on this thing and this is the front right here this is a large and it's pretty big anyway, that's it for today guys i hope you like this video don't forget to comment like share and subscribe and i will be back with more videos peace and love